Child's Play 3 as Chucky try and put himself into Tyler. So, uh, the positives are the opening credits were cool with Chucky being unmelted, unmelted in the vat of plastic. And the credits are playing over it. He's like being reformed. That was pretty cool. And when the, uh, in the carnival, when the Grim Reaper slices off half of Chucky's face, that was awesome. Uh, but that's it for positives. On to the mixed. The carnival setting at the end of the movie is cool. But it feels really weird in an army movie. And they should have done something in the army for the climax of the movie. Like, have Chucky drive have Chucky drive a tank or something. But they don't do anything with that. So that's the only mixed. So on to the negatives. This movie unfortunately has us wait for Chucky to come in the beginning, kind of. To come in the beginning when we already know he's alive because we see him sneaking around, grabbing stuff when in Child's Play 2, we just saw him walking around doing stuff. Uh, another negative is Sergeant Botnick mentions to have uh, their hair short. So, uh, so people couldn't slit their throats. Uh, which you would think that, would, that they would do that to Chucky, but they don't. Although I guess... Um, Chucky kills Sergeant Botnick by slitting his throat. But you'd think you'd, you'd do the uh, grab the hair, pull, throat, slit the throat thing. But they don't. Um, and the kills aren't really that impressive. I kind of like the throat slit. But they aren't overly bloody or creative like the garbage man kill. Where you just see his arm get stuck. And then you just hear a crunch. And this movie feels like a Goosebumps episode. That's not a compliment. Like, the music feels like Goosebumps, and it's not over... And the movie isn't overly gory. It also has a kid, kind of, going up against a monster, and no one believes them that it's real. So it feels just very Goosebumpsy, even before Goosebumps was a thing. The show. Because uh, that show came in... in that show came out in, like, 98, I think. And this was 1991. And it's just the third time having Andy go up against Chucky. Only the kills aren't that good, and I've seen this type of movie for the third time in this franchise. So, And this only came out nine months after Child's Play 2. Like, it was released in theaters nine months after the original. Not like filming after nine months. No, you got to see the film nine months after Child's Play 2. So, it just feels low quality. So, in the end, if they... If they... In the end, if they had Chucky maybe succeed and switch bodies into Tyler... And they had to fight in each other's body. That could have been cool. But no, it's just the same old thing. Uh, so this is not the best Chucky movie. Although, I don't think it can be the worst Chucky movie. We'll get to that. If you know the Chucky franchise, you know what the worst movie is going to be. So, in the end, I, ca I can't recommend this movie just watch child's play and child's play 2 and let me show you guys when i threw the case here is what happened the dvds all just came flying out so hopefully none of them are scratched they they probably aren't but you know that was kind of funny but uh thanks for watching the review